Oh gosh. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, my broccoli, my broccoli. Mm. My name is Michelle. I ate nothing but Blue Apron for a week. And what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure most of you know what Blue Apron is, but for those of you who don't, it's a weekly meal kit service that provides fresh ingredients to your door so that you can cook your own meal. I chose three recipes a week that feeds two people each. So that means I'll be eating six Blue Apron meals and all of that cost me 60 bucks. So a little background about my cooking skills. I do not know how to cook. My usual dinners throughout the week include eating out with friends, buying dinner from Chinatown, or eating my mom's home-cooked meals. I did set myself some goals for the week when I first started. Being able to cook the meal within the estimated time, follow all the instructions on the recipe, and I would love to be able to cook something that will blow me away. And so here's how it went. Day one, I had a few hiccups with my spicy shrimp pasta recipe. The recipe told me that the first thing that I should do is boil the water, but I didn't do that. I can see why they, they said to do it in the beginning because my water is still boiling. I didn't put enough chili sauce because I thought it'd be too spicy. I wasn't able to save enough water from the pasta. I kind of burnt the broccoli. I forgot to add the correct cheese. There's two different cheese! And instead of cooking within the estimated time, I ended up taking a lot longer. 51 minutes to make this today. All these mistakes made my pasta taste mediocre. Like, would I be proud to invite my friends, family over and cook this for them? Maybe not? Day two pretty much consisted of me eating my leftovers from the day before. I ended up not being able to finish the whole thing because it was really, really bland. I ate all the shrimp though. Day three, hump day. I didn't want to cook at all, but... It's supposed to take only 15 to 25 minutes, so hopefully I can just bang it out. Nope, I was not able to bang it out. It took me way too long to chop the tomatoes. I handled raw oh, meat for the God. first time. Oh, the texture. And it's so cold. I showed off my flipping technique. It's all physics, all right? Here we go. And I ended up taking about 40 minutes to make my recipe. Expectation, reality. My overall reaction of the quesadilla though, not bad. Not bad. Mmm, that's not bad either. Mmm, not bad. Oh, Julie. The texture of the quesadilla was on point. It was so soft and crunchy at the same time. That was good, but I'm still hungry. So I am walking to find some food because I'm still hungry. I think I'm gonna get my classic roast pork with rice. Shout out to Big Wong for coming through with my dinner tonight. And let's just say day four was filled with a roller coaster of emotions. Hey guys, so it's day four of my Blue Apron challenge and I have my leftover quesadillas here. I was so excited to eat it because it was so good the day before, but nope. It does not taste good. I should have just ate this all yesterday. Like the meat is kind of stale. I can't taste the cheese anymore. The texture of the quesadilla isn't as like crunchy and soft. Definitely didn't have a proper dinner tonight. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I don't want to cook anymore, but I am not a quitter, so I will mentally prepare myself. I could not wait for day five to come. Happy Friday. It is my last recipe for Blue Apron, and today I am cooking a Asian-style meatloaf. It's supposed to take 50 minutes, but I have a feeling with my track record that it's going to take two hours. All I remember was a lot of peeling. That does not look like a good potato. And chopping. And some spilling. <gasps> and raw meat again. Nom, nom, nom. And yeah, I even whipped out my measuring tape. <laughs> but overall, I think the meal turned out okay. An hour and 20 minutes later. The sauce makes it taste better. And day six was just... Where do I begin? Um, I put the leftovers in the fridge, right? And I was about to take it out, but when I opened my Tupperware, it just stank. 
and it was like really watery and I was really, really disgusted and I just like immediately threw it out. But I ended up, instead of eating that, I ended up buying some wonton noodle soup. It cost me $6.50 and it was from Wonton Noodle Garden. I remember that day being super cold, so that meal just hit the spot. My final thoughts? Blue Apron definitely made cooking easier by providing all the ingredients right in front of you and easy to follow recipes. But it's probably not something that I will continue because the portion sizes run small. The recipes also didn't make good leftover meals. There was a lot of waste involved. And it doesn't eliminate the fact that cooking is still hard. There's still a lot of prep work, multitasking, patience, and dishes involved. And for someone who lives in the city, Blue Apron is probably not the best option for me because I have so many affordable and convenient options all around me. I had to say no to friends when they wanted to eat dinner with me. I was really tired after work and didn't feel like cooking. And on some nights, I didn't want to eat the recipe that I was cooking because I was craving something else. But Blue Apron might be good for someone who doesn't mind having pre-planned dinners ahead of time. It also might be good for someone who wants to get into cooking and has the time, energy, and patience to cook their own meals for $60 a week. And if that's you, major props. Oh, a little onion? Is it's garlic. Onion? It's garlic. <laughs> have you ever seen Whole Foods in your life? <laughs>